kids stealing? What's with this neighborhood? And these kids are supposed to get toys, but they're running around stealing stuff and creating pranks. Wow. I don't know how I feel about this. You know, Santa knows when you've been naughty or nice, right? That's what I hear. Fake snow, maybe? No. I should write this down. I don't have anything to write on. Crowbar, please. Exactly. Uh, okay, the nameplates are missing from the intercom. I now have a stencil. Hmm. So, this is a thing. How do I get that down from there? There's something up there, but I can't reach it. The darn kids, right? I'm telling you, they're stealing and they're pranking and like throwing cauldrons into trees and... I don't know. What is this? I actually have no idea. I don't know what it's for. Uh, what's the combination? I don't know. It's over here on this 568, but apparently because I can't write it down on anything, I can't input it in here. Because... Story. Narrative requires me. I am digging the decorations, though. Uh... Oh, I guess we're gonna have to spray this on here with our fake snow. Nice. And I have a blank paper, so we can now write this down. Fantastic. It's all come together nicely. <laughs> I'm just drawing one big circle. I have no idea how it's... Maybe we're stenciling it like this. That is going to work. Because of science. Oh, it's like upside down? Oh, no. Okay. It, w it went five, six, eight. That's weird. Okay, so we have three nameplates. And this fish thing. Huh. The note said that Mr. Fluffy Paws likes catnip. Is catnip the name of the fish? I think it is. Is the name of those kids the Grinch? Right? Oh, he, what do we got here? Place each nameplate next to the correct number using the stickers as clues. Select a nameplate to pick it up and or place it. Mr. Fluffy Paws. Three, four? Seven? Maybe? Three? Um. This is ten, maybe? What would be six? Two. That's probably four. Fluffy paws, maybe. Uh, five. This doesn't look like five. Steve Parsons is a good person. He likes carrots and rabbits. Oh. Does this mean it's in the right spot? Or not in the right spot? Can't tell. Um, I think it's in the right spot when it's gray, maybe. Maybe. All right, what's with the scratchy sounds? 16? What the heck is 16? 1, 6? Uh, 
I don't know how this is five. <laughs> I don't understand how that's five. <laughs> what is this puzzle? <sighs> Am I crazy? No, it's all. No matter what. No, wait. Oh, it doesn't. So. I think I'm lost. I assumed it's the number of objects, so this is one. But a, this is two. This is three. This is four. But this is also three. Um, this is seven. This is five. I don't know what 16 or 31 is. Douglas Walker is four. Douglas Walker is four. So what would this one be? That's seven. I assume there's 10 stars there. 31? Maybe three and a one? Two and a one? So I just need 16, I think. Steve is 31. Okay, I'll take that. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you on Steve. I think I got it, but I don't know what 16 is. What else is there? This has to be 3, 2, 21, 4, 5, 31, 10, 7, unless these two are switched. Nope. Like, this should be seven. Maybe. Oh! There you go. Apparently, I had my seven and sixteen mixed up. Very colorful nameplates. Son, is it really you? Wait, we didn't recognize the fact that our dad lives here? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. My mistake. You look so much like my son. Okay, that's creepy. I hoped he'd forgiven me and come to visit for Christmas. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, now it just got dark. Ooh, there's a nice cat over there, though. I thought you were my son. Jeez. All right, kitty cat. I want to hear purr. Hit me with your purrs. Mmm. Thank you. Oh my. It's the sun that Santa we helped just now. Martha, thank you for agreeing to cat sip Mr. Fluffy Paws. If he's being grumpy, give him some catnip, but be sure to put it into a cloth bag or it will make a mess. Hmm. What are the odds, <laughs> right? That must be our catnip bag. Ooh, this door handle's seen better days. So he basically wants catnip. If I was catnip, where would I be? Looks like dad has a shrine to his son over here. Um, slippers. Interesting. I need to put the catnip into something. Got it. Slurp up all that catnip. What, we just throw a catnip bag at the thing? Or we stuff the fish with it? Oh, no, we gotta sew it. Okay. So why do I need a magnet? Hmm. Maybe to get some of the stuff out of his couch? Interesting. 
Really? That's what you do with catnip? You stick it inside of... Seriously? No. I thought you just feed it to the cats. Do you really stitch it inside of animals like that? Huh. Learn something new every day. Or is that really just so it never eats it? <laughs> That's more like a tease. I can't see anything in the dark. Walking stick, metal claw. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. But I mean, if it's in the animal, like, it can't eat it. It just more smells it, right? That is a strange looking... Hmm. What studio made this? Uh, Yurik, this was made by Elephant Games. Walking stick. Okay, let's go back out here. It just cuddles the toy calmly. Yeah, I, okay, I get that. That makes more sense. It's not like it's gonna, like, you know, suck it through or something. I don't know. So, I have a pump. A vial. Is this over here, wasn't it? Yeah. I need a container to hold some of this. What exactly is this? Grease! Interesting. We had grease just laying around outside in the winter. Your brother has toys for his cat that have catnip inside? Oh, okay. All right. Cool, cool. I get it. Yeah, the catnip can be reused if the cat doesn't ingest it. Oh. There you go. See, that's, that's how you learn. Mm-hmm. It's the hunt of the game. Cats love to figure things out. Well, cats can be clever, can't they? Clever cats are clever. Okay, so there must be a puzzle piece here. Nope, I don't see it up there. So, grease for this thing, I'm guessing. Whew, guide the snowflake through the maze to the arrow. Move the snowflake over a metal disc to rotate the gateways. Oh, this is a slow one. Come on. Very slow. <laughs> Come on. Cats also like to bite ankles for some reason. And scratch, right? So I'm going to guess we're going to go to this one right here. Patience, Padua. <laughs> no, come on. This is super slow. The mechanics are a little janky. Come on. Ugh. There we go. Oh, you look at that. If I don't let go of it, I can just move it around. This is better, at least. I'm just holding the mouse down. Uh, so we got to go back up this way. This is a video game. Okay, I lost track of what I was trying to do. How did that help me? Oh, okay, so we can get to the finish line here. Got it. Your cat likes to bite, to bite the garland. Ah, tis the season, right? I've heard cats climbing in Christmas trees for sure. What you permit, you promote. Phew. That is a weird one. <laughs> Why is the door handle locked in this drawer, which required grease from outside? Like, what if it's an emergency? What if there's a fire? And that's how he goes to his bedroom. Oh, this must be the son's bedroom. Okay. Cats climb Xmas trees? Yeah, that is destruction. You got it. So this is a kid's room from like, what, 
The 70s or something? What is this? 80s? Maybe 80s, right? 90s? I don't know. Certainly not in the 2020s. Ooh, I'm gonna put that on there. 11 of 12 puzzle pieces. Wait. I blame those stealing children for locking the door handle up? <laughs> right? Exactly. Yes, they do like the Christmas tree. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I've seen it. I have seen that. So I've got a Santa and a reindeer. Look at this yellow pages here. It's a phone book. It probably is a little out of date, no? You like that the wallpaper and the bed covers match? Yeah, it, the pillows, right? Well decorated. My cat just likes to sleep under the tree. Oh. So... Hmm. Is that... This old school television in here. Do yellow phys pages physical copies still exist? I have no idea. Like... In hotel rooms? Or is that just Bibles? I don't, I don't know. That's a great question. I mean, they would be outdated the minute they're printed. Would they not? Okay, so we're still missing that puzzle piece. Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, time for a little cocoa. So... Oh, I guess we're going to put the statues here. We have a Yellow Pages book in the state. Do you, lady? Oh, okay. A seam ripper. And a boom box. Whoa, this is totally going to come in handy. I could put a cassette in here. <laughs> the best of the best. Cassettes, please. And that is a glowing wand. Uh, so we can see underneath here. Maybe. Ooh, use the light to find the objects. Let's do it. I mean, was that, was the light really necessary? We got the leg. And let's put it back up here and see what this does. It's the play button for our boombox. Hmm. Let's go and put the light there. What exactly is this? Sam's key. Uh, key for what? Oh, it seems like Sam loved his parents, so why did he leave his father? We'll put that over here. <gasps> uh, sure, that's one way to do it. 